Today we're printing a classic fantasy creature, the Centaur. This is Heroes in Whiskey. My name is Tim. Welcome back or welcome here for the first time. We are printing our way through the D&D 5e Monster Manual. Uh, if you need a description about what we're doing, you can uh, take a look. There's a link to the intro video down in the description. Today we are printing that classic fantasy creature, the centaur. Let's head on over to my mini factory and see what centaurs we find. Okay, so apparently shopping for centaurs is a little bit like shopping for cars. If you can't find one that you like, you probably are not looking hard enough. So here are these from uh, Lord of the Print. These are kind of more leafy, organic centaurs. Here are some demonic centaurs by Bestier Miniatures. Here are some horned centaurs from Galad Miniatures. I like these. Here's a collection from the Great Grimoire. Uh, this is more of a traditional centaur look. I really like these as well. A couple of different varieties. Here's an armored centaur. Here is a heavily armored centaur. Here is a build your own centaur by Heroes and Beasts. This is kind of a cool idea. Uh, Loot has their own centaur, which has got a bit of a um, ancient Rome, ancient Greece look to it. But I think of all of these, the one that kind of jumped out to me were these from Bestiarium Miniatures. Um, I, I just like the style. Again, there are dozens of different kinds of centaurs. These are the ones that stood out to me. So I'm going to download these and print them out and see what we get. So these centaurs from Bestiarium Miniatures... Uh, they were $9 for uh, a set of three. I printed uh, two of them. Um, no issues with the printing. They do come in different pieces. The base is one piece. Uh, the body is one piece. The torso with the weapons is one piece. And then the head is another piece, but didn't have any issues with any of them. Um, this one with the axe, you can see he's kind of holding the axe across his chest. No issues with with that. And so let's drop him on the turntable and take a closer look. So for me, these centaurs are really the perfect blends of strength and ferocity and chaos and violence. They maybe have a little more Norse influence than you would traditionally expect of centaurs. But I think in this case, it really adds to the imposing nature. I really appreciate the variety of textures from the horse body to the details and the armor to the fur around their shoulders and then especially the inscription on the axe which I honestly didn't even know was there uh, until I painted it and so if you need a monster to come thundering down upon your party and show no mercy these centaurs are perfect the scale feels right the aggression feels right and these figures will definitely put your party in a defensive state of mind in terms of resources uh, these centaurs cost nine dollars for the three took about three and a half hours to print so our total cost so far is up close to 160 bucks and we are now kind of in the waning moments of our third day so we're up to two days and uh, almost 19 hours of total print time so that's the centaur from best year miniatures Love these models. Again, there's dozens of other choices. If this isn't particularly your style, these came out great. I uh, would definitely use these in a campaign. And next up, we're printing a Chimera.